that shocked my mom in Korea. It's possible to order delivery, so she was amazed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paula. I come from Poland. I came to Korea this time in late December to do my working holiday visa. Actually, it was the first time when I was in Korea as well. So today I'm gonna talk about what things shocked my mom when she visited Korea. So for the first thing, Korean people's kindness and that they are really friendly. Especially for like us foreigners, it was something like unbelievable. Because even though we couldn't really speak Korean, even in plain, two ajumas started tried talking to us. And then actually we ended up on a dinner together. They also asked one son to be a translator. During the meal, we had a really good time. They paid for everything. They asked us if we want some souvenirs and they show us around. It was amazing. It was amazing. They cared about us a lot. I have my personal experience. Recently, I met a really close friend. I got to spend some time in his family house and his parents always treat me like a family member. They also propose like meals together, some ding san activities together. <laughs> <laughs> I am always welcome there, so I am happy to spend time with them. Group activities that the way Koreans spend time. Before the coronavirus spread, it, when my mom visited Korea with many people in the riverside spending time together. We went there in 2018, in June. When we first saw it, my mom really wanted to join it. <laughs> My mom saw the blankets, the sellers of blankets. Should we join them? Should we buy it? <laughs> then I told her that it's possible to order delivery. So she was amazed. <laughs> In Poland, we mostly don't spend time like this. Wow, so many people actually like it here. I think it would be nice to spend some time like this as well. Eating meals together by Koreans. My mom <clears throat> said that for her it's something new because in Poland it's not really popular to eat meals together. Mostly during weekends for like one or two meals together. It depends on like people's mood <laughs> and time. Uh, as for the third thing, uh, me and my mom went to palaces to do some sightseeing and the first thing that she said, wow, this palace is amazing, but how come that it's right next to like such a big building? Such it, it, she was really shocked about it. And also she, it was her first time to see this kind of like architecture, like East Asian architecture. So seeing it live, she started taking videos and pictures a lot. <laughs> Also, when we went inside, she saw hanbok. Compared to Polish national outfits, it's really special. She said she wanted to try it, but it was unfortunately too hot to wear it. It's the humid weather. Actually, people wearing hanbok impressed my mother the most because it was entering the old ages. Actually, never. <laughs> never. Because it's not popular at all. We don't have any kind of holidays or something like that to wear that. And also, we have like many different types of it, but it got like forgotten. Nobody really wears that nowadays. Mm. The next one that shocked my mom in Korea would be Norebang. Because there are no Norebangs in Poland. When we went to one, she couldn't even say anything. She was just looking around. What, what is that? <laughs> Asking me, how do we do it? How do we play it? <laughs> Basically, we visited, well, some Norebangs when we came here. She really enjoyed singing, even though she's not the best singer. <laughs> when we went there, we sang Let It Go the most. It was the time when it was really popular, <laughs> still. I didn't go with my mom to Norebang often, but I believe I, we went there around five times. At most one hour. At most we stayed one hour. Uh, the last thing I would like to mention is food. And I think that was the biggest obstacle for my mom because even though I like Korean food because of its spiciness and variety, my mom is not really a big fan of it. My mom doesn't really like 
like many things, she's really picky. And also, she cannot even try spicy things. She's getting really sick. <laughs> Mm, we tried tteokbokki, many different things. We also tried not spicy ones like bibimbap. Actually, we tried the most like popular ones of Korea pretty a lot. And also we tried seafood, but that's the thing of variety that my mom doesn't really like as well. <laughs> Almost never. We don't really have any kind of good seafood, so that's why. From the seafood, we only eat fishes. <laughs> but my mom is not the biggest fan of this as well. <laughs> Actually, she said if tteokbokki wouldn't be spicy, it would be good, good food. She really liked rice cakes inside. <laughs> Samgyeopsal. It wasn't spicy and it was actually a normal food, so she really enjoyed it. For sure, she met a lot of nice people. She really would love to bring some people from here to Poland. Oh, it's, it's because the thing I mentioned before, the, the kindness, the friendliness. She, even though she doesn't speak that many languages and that well, she could have a pretty good conversation and she had fun. I don't know that much, but she regretted not going to other cities than Seoul. She really wanted to visit Busan and Jeju Island. Today, I talked about some things that shocked my mom when she visited Korea. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment. Bye! Thank you!